I was born in India in 1966. And uh, in, in a small village that we have two sections of the village. One is uh, called like main village. They have uh, the farmers, so-called a little bit higher class. And I lived in a small kind of uh, part of the village in this uh, different area. Like we had about 25 uh, houses and those were all like so-called low cost. And so I went to school. I did my grade five in the village. The village has a primary school. And then I did my grade 10 from a nearest village. And after that, I did grade 11 in uh, like non-medical, they used to call like taking uh, science courses. After that, I went to college. It's the Polytechnic College. I did a three-year diploma in civil engineering. And after that, I got a job, like few jobs temporarily, but then I got permanent job with the uh, Indian Army, semi-army, it's called Border Road Organization. So I worked there about uh, three years, and then I got engaged here in Canada. And then after like uh, 92, we got married in 92 and I came to Canada in 1993. And living in, uh, in my village, Punjab, as I described, we have a separate area, like the low cost. It used to call the, like a Chamar community and the other community was the Ramgadia community. They all, the other Ramgadia community, they had like uh, some land, not uh, too big, but they had, yeah, like two, three acres, every person. And uh, they also used to do kind of skilled worker, those people, but uh, in the, my dad, he used to do kind of a farming labors. And I also helped my far dad farming labor. Being a separate in the community, we used to face uh, some kind of uh, a discrimination. It's obviously, obviously it's a different part in the same village. And, uh, like my dad and the, my grandparents, they used to experience, they mentioned that they experienced loss, more discrimination than my time. My father did not go to school. He did, I think, grade one or grade two. My mother did not go to school, but I had opportunity to go to school at that time because the government changing because the Indian, India got independence and there was a, a revolutionary doctor, Dr. Ambedkar. In, he just made kind of rights in the constitution. He was the chairperson of the constitution and he made rights for all the low cost people that they can go to school and they're able to get jobs as well. So that was lucky at that time to be able to go to school and pursue my education career. And uh, yeah, and while going to the uh, Polytechnic College, we had a 25% reservation. And if uh, so, so we had about 120 seats in the in college, like for three trades, electrical, mechanical, and civil engineering. And the general category, they call uh, high cost people there. Actually, the merit started about 85% and they stopped at uh, the lowest person was a 70, 70%. And the reserved seats, they started from 70 downward. So I was the top uh, on the list, but if there was no reservation and none of the like 25 person candidates would have got into the, the college diploma. So I was lucky to get into the because of the reservation. But I did have some experience like uh, back home, people will make kind of sometimes racist comments like, if uh, going to school and they said, why are you going to school? Like, what's the, the point benefit of for you going to school, right? Eventually you have to work, right? So that kind of mentality. And the people used to make kind of rude comments sometime. I was intelligent in my, I would say my, uh, in my village, I was the top uh, student, even like three, four, like even high school, we had three, four like villagers one called school in three, four villages. So I was the top candidate. And then sometimes the parents, uh, the so-called high cost, they used to kind of daunting their children. So how come you are not like somebody else from the low cost can compete you or get better marks. 
that kind of uh, comments used to get. And also it's uh, even going to college, we used to get the scholarship, like the scheduled caste candidate, like the low caste because of the poverty, they use special like scholarship. And when we used to go to scholarship, the, all the school cost students, they will go all at the same time. It's very, very obvious to know for the other people that these people are came from like reserve quota. Right? So that's why it's very hard to mingle with the, the general really high cost people. Actually, my wife, she has been living here. Uh, she came here in 1981 with her mother and uh, her brothers. And uh, so their family was related to my uncle. So it was kind of, uh, I knew my wife a little bit, but it was kind of arranged marriage. So that was also a super better opportunity here uh, in Canada. And uh, even if one person like uh, uh, got a job here and like not this car moved here and uh, the parents were able to come my parents were able to come here and my brother a couple of my brother were able to come here that was kind of helped the family like financially so that was the main uh, kind of reason to better opportunity for the myself and the family and the reason i start believing in the in the six scriptures because of being a Ravadasya community, we had one revolutionary saint, his name was Ravadasya. And so his teachings were just that everybody is equal and he fought for equal rights. And so that's why his teachings are actually, his writings are in the Guru Granth Sahib is a Sikh scripture. And we could recall and most of you their Guru living group. So that's why I actually start believing more and have more faith in Guru Granth Sahib because it teaches about equality. Guru Ravadas Ji, they were, I believe it was 1300 years. And at the same time, there was a Kabir Ji and they are from the, they're from the Dalas community. Both of them at the same time happened, right? So they, if we read from their writing, they, they try to explain that we are also human beings. They, every human being are equal, we have right, equal rights. I think they fought for equal rights, but the, the people, what they did, they made them as they, like they were had miracles or they had superpowers. So they made them so that they, everybody cannot fight for their rights. So they, the high, high society people, like Hindu society people, Brahman, they made them there, they had superpowers. But I don't believe that in that one because they, they were strong people and they, they had courage to fight against uh, the discrimination. So that's why they were there, they are respected in my, but their history, they, the history was written by the, uh, by the high class people because the poor people, they were not, uh, they did not have a right to educate, to get education, right? So somehow with Ahji and Kweji, they got some education. I don't know how did that happen, right? So what the, the even the people like from the Russia communities, they believe, they may, they were made to believe that they had superpower. Even in Canada, people living here, they still think they had superpower, with Ahji. But I think they just fought. They were like, uh, what's called the warriors of the community. That's how I think them, right? So that's why you, the, when the, they become part of Sikhism because the first guru they call Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Guru Gobind Singh, they all part for human rights, equality. All their teachings, their writings are equality. The same thing happened with them. They, they were made that they had superpower. So that's why even the Sikh community, majority of the Sikh community, they, they, they believe that they had superpower. But they, they were like generally general people then they were like simple, but they had courage to fight, stand up for the right and truthful. And they, they faced the consequences of being honest or fight for injustice. Within the Sikh community, they thought of oh, Guru, uh, 
Nanak Dev Ji and after Guru Gobind Singh Ji, they, they think they are 10 Gurus. And even the teachings of Guru Ramadas Ji and the Kabir Ji is in the Guru Granth Sahib, they still think they were a little bit like inferior than their real Gurus, like the Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Yeah, they think because they are, they came from the, all the from the low caste people. That's why they always they don't want to give them uh, like same status as uh, gurus. They think no. Then the Gurwani and the Guru Granth Sahib they call them pagat. That's why they they call them pagat and they don't like that calling them guru. And even though it's, uh, I believe that Guru Nanak Dev Ji he learned a lot from Ravdas Ji and Kabir Ji. And if you see their writing, they are kind of same. It's, you can tell then they kind of get the concept from Ravidasi and Kweerji and they implemented that right as a as a Guru Granth Sahib. And but the, that's the the also the root cause of the discrimination. Even the Ravidasi community, they thought when they got education, Ravidasi community, because before they didn't even know that much about the Guru Ravidasi. They got education because of Dr. Ambedkar. And sometimes the community, they don't, they think it's the two different personalities, Rabbi Dasji and uh, Dr. Ambedkar. Because, because of Dr. Ambedkar, get education, and that's why they knew about the Rabbi Dasji. They started learning about reading the Guru Granth Sahib. That's how they knew that Guru, our, uh, like a Guru was from our community. I think same thing, like uh, kind of from, uh, the Ravdasya community is that some they are divided into following Guru Ravdasji and Dr. Ambedkar Ji. They are not denied sometimes on that issues. So that's why it's actually the Sikh community and the Ravdasya community they seem each other different because the Ravdasya community they had they used to go to the same Gurdwara, they used to get discriminated at the Gurdwaras. And even here in Canada, and that's why they made their own temple. And they still kind of uh, sometimes the uh, like the other Gurdwara, they make comments why the Rabadasya community made their own Gurdwara. Because one time they got they didn't get the, the equal rights in their, their own Gurdwara. Even the Sikh uh, Guru Granth Sahib teaches about the equality it was uh, 400 years ago, but the Dalit people there the financial position or their discrimination did not didn't happen anything for 300 years regardless of their written guru granth sahib it happened only when dr ambedkar and other people that uh, they, they they fought for their rights they said no we are equal then it wasn't dr only dr ambedkar there could be many other people that were supporting him but luckily the, the dalit community was lucky enough because he was the most educated person in the uh, kind of in the world at that time so that's why he got, was able to get more rights for their own people so that's how i think the Rasya community and the rest of the the sikh community they think they are different but uh, basically is, is is they are not different like that's how I think, but that's a, that I think there are only very few population that believe the way I believe. And I usually attend like one class, which is called uh, Gurmat Prachar, and most of the people there are from high class society. I do online with Zoom, and we talk openly about the casteism and how the people were made to believe in the Sikhism in the Rabdasya community, because that's not the true belief of Guru Granth Sahib is the teaching is totally different than what they believe. They believe they had superpowers and that's, uh, yeah. And if that was, uh, I think the high caste, the Brahman category, they made them to believe that way so that they would not fight for their rights. But in the, the, the Guru Aravidas Ji's uh, annual uh, work date, I usually give a little speech, five minute speech. And at that time, even though we had about 100 people, 120 people from our community, at that time, people usually from the other community, there will be more people from the other community to come to celebrate with us. And I spent about five, 10 minutes to speech to talk about the cost when back home and then how we are actually lucky to be working towards the decreasing that uh, difference. So that's the, my contribution usually every year I do 
yeah i thank the whole community that being uh, they are accepting the the other cost people right equal when his uh, birthday comes and we celebrate right? here in the sect temple as well and then as a community we have about 100 i would say 150 like people like population maybe 40 houses that they belong to the same cost and we try to actually when there is a pro like google uh, program at the good sick temple we try to kind of lead that program and we participated because my father-in-law he's the the member of the sick temple he has been for the last i think 25 years so, so that's not only one cost uh, temple it's everybody there, so they probably they respect him. And so when even though there's a program, the Gravidas, the program, the birth of date of birth, they they want us to celebrate, kind of like take a lead. And we tell them, no, you guys should celebrate as the other gurus you are celebrating. We will support, but it should not be considered as it's a separate, like you guys have separate guru. So we try to kind of that uh, me and my wife uh, like lead take a lead at the same time we don't want to show that it's the one community's program as i said my my father is a member like he usually serve in the kitchen and then also we had one uh, the treasurer became one of the treasurer became from our community because one time the community was complaining that we we don't get our fair share kind of uh, contribution in the management. So they asked me many times, the, uh, the sick, uh, actually, whoever the people who nominate uh, the directors, they asked me many times to come become a treasurer or even as a president, I said, no, I'm not interested. So it make a big difference when we, when we go there and participate. So it will take time. So I, I'm, I think I'm more, optimistic that it will improve even in Punjab and in India and people are getting education education and educated and their financial position is getting better I think it will yeah it will yeah especially in Canada it will get better <laughs>